Well, what's up, guys? I'm Travis, and you're watching Upgraded RC. Well guys, I'm having a ton of fun with this thing. It's definitely my favorite RC. I love this thing, it's just awesome. Now one thing that is not awesome, and I'm sure you guys are gonna agree with me, there's no fun to try to get the damn battery into the battery box and make that clicking sound so you can get your cotter pin through there. It's just really difficult to do, it's a very tight fit. Now, especially when you're running a uh, battery with a balance lead on it. Well, in this video, what I'm gonna do is show you how to make a super simple, short, easy modification to your battery box door so that we can get rid of that problem. And then I'm also gonna go ahead and show you how to run your battery with the balance lead on there, how to route it so that it works out best for you and it's easy to get in and out. You get that clicking sound, hopefully, when I'm done with this. And it's just gonna make our life a lot easier because I mean, that's the first thing I noticed, guys, when I got out there, I'm running around the first thing you put the battery in the first time, guess what? It's a pain in the ass, isn't it? I'm really worried I'm gonna pinch these wires here, especially with the balance lead on there. There's just not enough room, so we're gonna fix that right now. All right, there we go, guys. Got you a little bit better view so you can see what's going on. So what I'm talking about here, and I'm sure you understand, is when you're closing this battery door and you get that click, now you know that it's 100% closed and you can get that cotter pin through real easy, okay? Makes it easy without a battery in there. You put a battery in there, I don't really care which battery it is, that you have problems with all of them. We're just gonna stick this battery in here and we're just gonna leave the lead straight out to make it super simple so there's no binding or issues or anything here. And I go up as high as I can. I can't get that click out of it. I can get it to where I can get the cotter pin in, but it's really a pain. I'd rather have a little bit more clearance there because I believe what's gonna happen is we're gonna we're gonna end up pinching these wires right here. There's gonna be a problem down the road, I'm sure, and I'm just trying to avoid that. Plus, I'd like it a little bit easier to close my battery door. So what my solution is, we're gonna take this battery door and right here on the bottom, there's a lot of you guys that have probably already done this or thought about it. I just sit here for a while and try to route my wires the best way I could, and this was the easiest thing I could think of. But I'm gonna take a round file and just go ahead and get rid of this lip right here. If you look in this battery box door, there's a flat part here, we're gonna call it the floor. And then there's a lip right here sticking up. Well, I believe this lip is about the same height as what it takes. You can see that crack up there, what it takes to close that. They're about the same height. So if I'm having issues right now and I got rid of this little lip right here, wouldn't it make sense? It's gonna close just a little bit easier. It's not gonna pinch your wires as much. Everything's just gonna be a little bit better. So that's what I'm after. Like I said, this is gonna be a super simple, easy, first, very well needed upgrade. And we're gonna go ahead and take care of that. Now guys, I did take my number plates off just to make it easier for you to see what's going on. That's the only reason I did it. I think you can leave your number plates on and do this, but you never know, you might wanna take this one right here off on this side just to make it easier. One thing I do think we need to take off is this muffler here with these two Allens right here. That way I can get in there with my file. You know, this isn't my file, but I can get in there with my file and I can file this. And I think you'd probably be okay if you left this on, but Knowing my luck, I'm going to scratch this with a file and ruin it. So for two bolts, that's super simple. I think I'm just going to go ahead and take it off. So I'm going to take that off, and then I'm going to go ahead and file this down very smooth until it's flush with this floor. And take your time and do a good job, guys. You don't want to go through that floor. But, and I know everybody's thinking, this is probably going to ruin the integrity of my door. No, it's not. You've got this large lip all the way around here that keeps it really secure. And then you've got two gussets in here you can't see, but there's two gussets in here that make this really tight as well. So we'll go ahead and file that down. And hopefully when I put my battery back in here and I'll show you guys how I'm routing my wires, hopefully it clicks for us and makes everything real easy. If not, it's gonna be a little bit easier than it was before anyway. So let me go ahead and do that now. All right guys, that was pretty easy to do. It took me about two minutes. And the reason why I told you to use a round file is because we wanna keep these corners right here nice and round. If they're sharp and flat, then they're sharp. It's going to probably at least pinch into our leads or maybe cut them. And after you're done, I would recommend sticking your pinky finger in here and just go back and forth and make sure there's no sharp edges there. I mean, that's the whole reason why we did this is so that we wouldn't pinch our battery. Other than that, let's see what our result was. Let's see how easy it is to get our battery in here now. Same battery. 
I'm going to route these exactly the same way, just straight out the back so we can just get a, a feel for this real quick. Okay, let's see if we hear that click. There it is. Oh, it almost wants to stay closed by itself, guys. It's right there. Now, I'm going to show you guys one more trick here. Some of your batteries have it, some of them don't. And then I'll go ahead and show you how to route this, and we'll be done with this video. It's getting a little bit too long for me. I want to get out there and tear this up a little bit. So guys, some of these newer batteries that are coming out that have the balance leads on them, they've got this collar here around the end of the connector to make it a little bit easier for you so you have something to grab and pull out. That way you're not pulling the wires out of the back of these that people have done in the past. Well, what I'm going to do, because it's obviously in the way, guys, all you got to do is stick a screwdriver in here, separate this, and it's just that easy. You can take this thing right off. No big deal. Oh, I just dropped it on the floor. But I'll tell you what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to go ahead and just set this next to my battery charger so that when I want to, it's super simple to get this back in here and then I can use it and I can just take it back off. But in this bike, we have such close tolerances on everything. We want to get rid of that so that we can get this tucked down where we need to. Let me go ahead and show you how I'm routing this big battery now. All right, guys, so I got my muffler on there and I went ahead and tried it out again and it, it just feels just a little bit too tight for me. I'm going to take this one step further. Now, right here, there's a little foam pad, and they put this in here to keep your battery nice and tight so that when this is closed, there's good tension on it, and when you're wrecking, it's not going to flop around and everything. Well, with my battery in there, and I close this door, and I can't get it closed all the way easily, I believe I've already got enough tension on there. I don't think it's going to go anywhere. And guys, this is something that you're going to have to make a decision on your own for you and your battery. Is your battery so tight that you can't get this door closed very easily? or is it loose enough to where it closes easily and just leave that foam pad on there. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off and give myself just a little bit more. And you know what? I mean, if I scrape this off and decide that I want it back on, I can just put another piece right back in there. You can get this foam anywhere, guys. Home Depot, Walmart, everybody sells this and I could probably get a little bit thinner piece or I could just take and put another piece of duct tape in there if I need to. I think I'm gonna scrape it off and it's gonna be good and I'm not gonna need it at all. So let me scrape that off and we'll try this one more time and then I'll show you how to wrap my wires. Okay, so I was very careful at scraping my foam off there. You know what, I could probably put it right back on. I didn't damage it at all. But I went ahead and put my battery in there after that and it is perfect. The battery door actually stays closed by itself. I can pull on the battery leads. The battery does not move. It seems like it's part of the bike. That little trick worked for me and my battery. I don't know if it will for you or not, but it was perfect for me. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how I wrap my wires now and we'll get this thing put together. Here we go. I'm gonna put our battery in here and the battery leads here are gonna go ahead and come through the hole that we trimmed. And then when I told you to take that collar off of your balance wire, this is why. I found the best way to do this, guys, is to go ahead and push it over to this side here your connector is going to go up in here in between these two plastic pieces and guess what there's just enough room it fits perfect it doesn't pinch your wires it's not going to destroy your connector and it just disappears it works out really good watch so if i take that and put it up there and i close this look at that oh my battery door is well it was staying closed there for a second it's right at the verge of staying closed by itself there it is anyway okay so let's go ahead and route these wires now. So before you close all that up, I just wanted to show you that this connector would fit in there real easy. No big deal at all, it's got plenty of room. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put our wires in here the way that it's supposed to be. So what you're gonna wanna do is put your wires in the muffler first and go ahead and plug it in now. It's just, it's easier just to get it plugged in. and Then you know how much of this wire, how much slack you've gotta have in here. So go ahead and put this down in your muffler here where it's supposed to be. And like I said, the batteries come through, the battery leads come through the little door we trimmed. And then your balance lead goes on the other side, like I said. And now, there you go. Closed, you can hear the click. And look, my battery door is staying closed all by itself. Now that is perfect, guys. Let me go ahead and put my cotter pin in here and the side plates back on. And we'll go tear this thing up. Well, guys, I wanted this to be a short video and hopefully I helped somebody out here. I didn't want to bore you guys too much, but you know, I just sat around here the other day thinking about how could I route these wires differently? How could I get more clearance? And that seemed like the simplest, easiest way. 
And you know, if you had a battery with bigger leads on it, you could probably file a little bit more down. Just don't go so far that you create a sharp edge. That's what we're trying to avoid. Other than that, it really did help out quite a bit. It's not perfect. I mean, if I went just a little bit more, that battery door would stay closed on its own and you could just slide the cotter pin through. So I think it was success. Guys, I've got a group on Facebook called Upgraded RC Bashers, Crashers, and Crawlers. If you have one of these, please show me some bashing videos, show me some photos, send it to me on that group. I'd love to see what you guys got going on. Um, I can answer any of your questions there quite easily. By the way, if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to comment down below. I will get back with you as soon as I can, I promise. I don't know when it'll be, but I will get back with you. Guys, I am Travis. You're watching Upgraded RC. Peace out!